Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and welcome to this quick guide. I'm going to be showing you how to draw lag free even on slower machines. In this tutorial, I'm going to be using the R520 stylus. This is the Bluetooth one. This is what I prefer for art. I think it's better for uh, drawing than the Surface Pen. And uh, I have a bunch of videos about it on my channel, so feel free to check those out. All right, so the first program of five that we're going to look at is Affinity Designer. So let's go ahead and switch over to that. Affinity Designer does the job of two programs, really. It, it does the same work as Adobe Illustrator. So you can do all this vector work. It has all this, the uh, tools that you would expect, anchor points and pen tools and smoothing and corner tools and, and really works well. Uh, and then it also has a roster side, which I think gets largely ignored. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and jump over to the roster one. It's actually quite good. Basic is what is set at, and, and basic uh, is is pretty horrible. Like this is what you start out with, and I'm like, okay, that's that's pretty bad. I I would not ever draw on this program. But if you look underneath a little bit more, you can see basics. Here's acrylics. So let's check out acrylics. Wow, that's actually pretty nice. So going back to the basics here, click here, and this is going to force pressure to adjust the size of the brush tip. Okay, very cool. But let's look a little deeper and you can see they've got a bunch of different brushes here. They're actually really nice, completely lag free. This program runs at 60 frames a second, costs about $60, does the job of Adobe Illustrator and is a great drawing program. You can go back and forth between vector and roster. It keeps them separate on different layers. Uh, what I would say is the cons on this program is that it does not do object selection like Photoshop does, and it doesn't color blend. So if you want to remove the background from an image, or you want to warp, transform, um, some of those more advanced uh, liquify tool type things doesn't exist here. However, this is really, really fast and works really well for what it is. Okay, so First one on our list is Affinity Designer. You can find this in the Windows Store, and it's a great pickup. It's what I do all of my YouTube thumbnails in. All right, the second program in our list is my top choice because I like color blending, which is not for everybody, but that's my thing. Um, so I did this image here inside of um, Paint Tool Sci version 2. A little hard to install and it doesn't support touch so i'm touching trying to do pinch to zoom on the screen and, and nothing happens it works brilliantly with the artist pad from tablet pro so the two of them together really really fast really easy to do a lot of different things and it supports this uh, hybrid toggle mode which i really like so here i'm going to choose a brush i'm going to draw and i can adjust the brush size quickly pick uh, let's pick this color right here and then switch to another tool. And I can switch to this tool just by holding it down. And when I release, it'll go back to the other tool. So here is paintbrush, pen, brush, watercolor, and all these have different properties. I can switch to an eraser and draw and erase and draw. And it's, it's just so fast. So Paint Tool Sci, a um, little hard to install, brilliant color blending, really fun to use. Uh, I, I think it requires the artist pad because there's no touch. So if you're trying to navigate on a tablet, this is going to be pretty difficult, but it is lightning fast, even lag free at 5,000 pixel brushes on a 10 or 20,000 pixel square canvas. So pretty amazing. The next one in our list we're going to look at is Concepts. This one is also in the Windows Store. Uh, it's got some cool features here. The pencils look really nice. It's got a textured canvas. This little widget you can move around, and it's got this beautiful color wheel, which plays uh, music to my soul when I look at it. It's gorgeous. See, it does not do color blending, but it does do everything in vector. So here, this is a push tool. So you can do a lot of fun things with this, the ability to transform different lines and 
and play around is it's it's great really pretty great for sketches and lightning fast okay the next program we're going to look at is sketchable sketchable has got a really cool feature in it so here <laughs> this eye isn't really creepy uh, let me show you what we're doing here so i have pencil tool and we're just going to make stylized eye we're going to use tilt we are going to use tilt we're trying to use tilt all right um my finger i have set to smudge so if i'm drawing something and i want to smudge you can adjust the amount that it does so if that's too much for you you can go down here further it doesn't pull quite as far the opacity is a little less all right that feels a little bit closer to what i want it to actually do and so my pencil is going to do this action my finger is going to do a smudge just like if you're working with graphite this one also is extremely lag free runs at uh, I, most of these run at 60 frames per second absolutely enjoy working in this um does not do color blending as far as i know but is, is a lot of fun to play with also in the windows store and i think it's one of the cheapest ones in this list Okay, the next one we're going to look at, and the last one in our list is Leonardo. Now, I'm running all of these programs at the same time, just so you can get a picture for how lag-free they actually are. Okay, so here we have Leonardo. Um, let's go ahead. We're going to delete some of these. And I'm going to close Leonardo, and we are going to open it back up. The eye right here. Oh, here. Okay, launch and draw. Like one second to go from it being off to being drawing. It's really cool. So Leonardo has this beautiful UI, really responsive, um, really well thought out. If you are doing anything like ruler tool, like the ruler tool is really smart. You're not drawing over the top of a line that gets in the way of you telling whether or not you're in the right space. really easy to use, optimized for touch, got some cool features. Uh, one thing that I really, I, I like, but so here where we're drawing in lightning fast. Now, if I draw a line, I'm like, oh, actually I want that straight. If I hold, it'll snap to straight, which you can turn on or off, uh, hold still for line right here and decide how long it does that, uh, how long you have to pause for. Okay, so that is really cool. Um, one of the things that I like about this, this program was made by a guy named Henning. And Henning used to work in the video game business. And in that market, there's a lot of optimization for frame rates. So if something gets a little too big and you're trying to do something right here, it says calculating pixels. So what's going on is the resolution of the canvas or the image, all the new strokes are lowered in the resolution, but they keep up with what is actually going on on screen. It's just a lower resolution and then the resolution fills in. So smart, so smart. Now, this program does not do color blending either. Hopefully we'll have additional brush options in the future so you can do something a little bit brush here. Let's choose pencil, zoom in so you can see uh, more options in brushes coming soon. Very, very fast. This one is also about 50 or 60 bucks in the Windows Store. All right, you guys, that's it for this video. If you like this content, please click the like button. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.